Welcome to the Principles of Acoustics, an overview of how sound travels through a partition, how to manage it, and how EcoTouch Quiet Zone Pink Fiberglass Acoustic Insulation from Owens Corning can help achieve desired acoustic ratings. You may also visit the Owens Corning Online Acoustic Wall Design Calculator to find solutions for your partition assemblies. Before reviewing sound transmission class ratings, referred to as STC, Let's first understand transmission loss. It is the measurement of the reduction of decibels of a sound at a given frequency as it passes through a partition. Measuring transmission loss over a range of 16 different center band frequencies between 125 to 4000 Hz is the basis for determining a partition's STC rating. STC ratings are determined through laboratory testing of a partition. It is constructed on resilient mounts to minimize the transmission of flanking noises by separating the sound source room from the receiving room. Sound is then produced at specific sound pressure levels from within the source room and then measured at reduced decibel levels within the receiving room. The difference in sound pressure level between the transmitted sound in the source room and the sound in the receiving room is measured at each of the 16 center band frequencies. The decibel differences are referred to as the transmission loss of the partition and these values are plotted against what is called the STC contour. The STC rating is determined from this and other specific calculations. The higher the STC rating, the better the partition's ability to isolate noise. Sound waves emanating from the noise source strike the gypsum layer, which begins to vibrate much like a drum. The structural vibrations of walls, floors and ceilings are easily transferred across any rigid connection. In this case, the wood studs. Once the sound has passed through the rigid connection, it will then radiate on the side opposite the source room. If the cavities are not insulated, airborne sound easily reverberates within the empty cavity and is transmitted to the adjacent gypsum board on the opposite side of the wall, which begins to vibrate. A major weak link in most partitions is the rigid connections, which facilitate a direct vibrational path over which sound vibrations can travel readily. There are four main principles that can be consistently applied across acoustic designs to increase a partition's STC rating, reducing noise from adjacent spaces. The first principle is blocking, which describes the importance of the partition's ability to provide a membrane or sheathing to block the sound path. This means making sure gaps and cracks are sealed with acoustical caulking or gasketing, thus allowing the sheathing such as gypsum board, to form a continuous barrier. One of the most important elements of blocking is to increase the mass of the gypsum board, thereby improving its noise control characteristics. Next, we can break and isolate the sound path by introducing intentional sound breaks between components within partitions. Installing resilient channels on walls is an example of creating an acoustic break and isolating noise vibrations between the gypsum board and framing members of the studs. These techniques inhibit and isolate sound waves from being transmitted directly through a partition. Another important technique to break the sound path is by installing a double stud wall or staggered stud wall. The final principle is absorbing which can be achieved by installing EcoTouch Quiet Zone Pink Fiberglass Acoustic Insulation from Owens Corning. Acoustic insulation is a porous material, which acts as a noise sponge by converting the sound energy into heat within the material. A common industry myth is that using a higher density insulation will increase the STC rating of a partition. Let's compare Quiet Zone Pink Fiberglass Acoustic Bat Insulation versus Stone Wool Bat Insulation. The National Research Council of Canada's report, IR693, concludes that when evaluating the STC rating of partitions, the insulation's density, glass fiber or stone wool, does not affect the performance. Let's use the Socrates program to build a wall assembly and compare results using glass fiber insulations versus stone wool insulations. The user has the option to adjust the stud depth and spacing, the gypsum board on either side, as well as cavity insulation. 
Let's try a partition with stud depth of 90 mm, spaced 406 mm on center, with a single layer of 16 mm type X gypsum board on one side, while the opposite side features two layers. The final adjustment is to fill the cavity insulation to at least 90% of the stud depth. Click Calculate and it shows the glass fiber assembly yields an STC rating of 51, while stone wool delivers one less at 50. This example illustrates that when designing wall or floor partitions, density does not play an important factor in determining the STC rating. This is why the National Research Council of Canada and National Building Code of Canada define acoustical insulation as sound absorptive material, and it includes fibers processed from glass, stone, slag, and cellulose. The Owens Corning solution for acoustical and fire rated partitions is EcoTouch Quiet Zone Pink Fiberglass Acoustic Insulation. When comparing to the leading stone wool manufacturer, Quiet Zone insulation matches performance in terms of these standards. Manufactured to CAN ULC S702 Type 1. Classified as non combustible. Achieves zero for flame and smoke development rating. Produced wider than cavity opening, ensuring a friction fit and no sagging. Indoor air quality certified by UL Environment. Corrosive resistance. Mold resistance. Meets UL 181 no fiber erosion. Accepted use in UL and ULC fire rated designs. Accepted in acoustic and fire rated assemblies referenced in Appendix A of the National Building Code of Canada. Quiet zone insulation exceeds the leading stone wool manufacturer in manufacturing insulation that is without formaldehyde, having completed a life cycle analysis with UL environmental product declaration, higher recycled content across all of Canada. In addition, quiet zone insulation is widely utilized in healthcare, multi-unit residential, and educational facilities across Canada. Quiet zone insulation provides twice the square footage per bag compared to the equivalent stone wool insulation. Because of this, the environmental and logistic ramifications are significant. With more product per bag, using quiet zone insulation means less truckloads to the job site, less bags to be recycled, and a significant cost savings for the owner. For support in designing acoustical and fire rated partitions, please visit the online Owens Corning Acoustical Wall and Floor Assembly Finder. For further information regarding the principles of acoustics video or to join us for a lunch and learn seminar, please contact your local technical representative. Our goal at Owens Corning is to provide product and system solutions to help meet the needs of the building occupants. Thanks for watching.